Okay. Welcome back to Let's Play Mercenaries Playground Destruction. I know it's been like four days since I uploaded. Sorry about that. Uh, well, I'll explain that later. Right now, Afro Man. In fact, I was counting on it. We recently lost contact with one of our planes over Hook Day Moon. They were taking every fire and had to ditch. We've got limited time to locate the downed aircraft and safely extract any survivors. If I have to wait for clearance, those men will die. That's all I need to know. If we need to save fellow people who love McDonald's hamburgers and possibly Checkers fries, because Checkers is the shit, then we're just going to have to do it. And surgical strike. Okay, free. Sweet. I hope you're ready for some action. Intel reports General Kang is sending reinforcements to the crash site. Never met a bounty I didn't like. Just make sure you get any survivors away from the crash site before the NK get there, or those soldiers won't stand a chance. Yeah. Yes, uh, about uploading. It's been about four days since I uploaded. Sorry about that. I can't say I really have an excuse. Besides for Fallout 3. I don't know, getting really excited. Seems there's some additional targets in the area they'd like you to help clean up while you're at it. Yes, I get it, Fiona. Yeah, getting really excited. New Vegas is coming out. The hardcore mode is going to be on New Vegas where you actually have to drink and eat water and sleep to live and all this other crazy shit. Ammo is going to have weight, which is going to really suck, but it's going to be awesome. And I'm probably going to have to get a platinum on that too, unfortunately. Not really, because Fallout games are the shit. Although I've only played Fallout 3. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. I was actually thinking of making a video of uh, my Fallout house of all the stuff I've just collected over the entire game. Because I just sat there the whole game and hoarded stuff because I don't really use anything much. Besides for like the hunting rifle and shit, I collected like every bottle of whiskey and vodka and scotch, wine, beer, Nuka-Colas, all of that. But that's not mercenaries. I'm not going to talk about that already. I've done fucked up and talked about it a good bit already but that's not the point I'm getting to maybe it is I don't know what we have to do is rescue three McDonald's loving people because that is America's stereotype the land of fucking McDonald's and if you go to New York it's quite believable oh yes every other block or every three on every block probably if I remember right yeah the only place he could get mugged stabbed Shot in the back of the head, live, go to the hospital, uh, get a you should have died card, and then go to work. All before breakfast. So says one of my viewers. So yeah, this dude looks like he's having fun just unloading on that guy right there. Too bad he's not one of those officers. The officers have significantly better accuracy, like I've said before. And uh, I recorded a good bit of this game, like, I recorded all the Russian missions, the American missions, well this is the last American mission, and the I don't want you shooting me mission, yeah let's not, okay, you're gonna be dead now, kaboom, okay, yeah I've recorded the, all of them besides for South Korea basically, because uh, well y'all figure that out. Yes, I have my decoy people out here. I wonder if they're going to live. I doubt it. I'm expecting them to die soon. North Koreans will get to them eventually. Kaboom. The fire in this game still looks pretty good. Oh, really? Okay. Only an American death. Nothing important. There's plenty more psychopathic bastards like the one in this tank. They won't be missed. And going up this hill. These things are pretty slow and hard to control, but I'd imagine that's how they are in real life. Unlike Mercenaries 2, where everything is very easily controlled. Oh, well, there goes the escape plan with the helicopter. That would have been nice. Actually, in the army, they call them helos. I like to call them helis. Seems more approachable in word ways. Heli, not helo. I mean, they're called a helicopter, not a helocopter kind of makes you think of helium balloons and how they can float but then that has nothing to do with big propellers and saving people's lives 
Yeah, I would like to get rid of the soldiers around these rocks where they don't kill these fuckers. You only need really one. I think you only need one. If I remember right, I remember having like two of them dying and I just brought back one and I was like, Mission complete, congratulations. But okay, I I'd rather have all three of them live. Just because... Just for it to look good. That That's pretty much the only reason. I can care less for their lives. I'm getting paid anyways. So, on to this part. If, it, if the AI on this game was actually smart and really helpful, I would put a lot more effort into saving these people. Besides for shooting a few really danger close rounds near them. You're gonna die. I'm gonna blow up my own tank eventually doing that. Oh, and a jammer. No, that's a anti-air gun. That's why these things are being down so much. I see. Well, I died to one of those earlier, so it doesn't matter, I guess. I can understand them going down. I'm amazed the helicopter is still in one piece by the time I got here. I don't know how they managed to pull that off. Must be some skilled pilots we have here. They're good at using the stick shift in the helicopter. And, yeah, it has you... The, yeah, good work. That's all you need to get. You just need to get that one guy, because that's the only important one here. Whee! No. We're going to get the other two, because it just seems necessary, and I don't know if I would fail the mission if I didn't get the other two, if they're still alive. But it says four minutes or so left. We just need to really get out of this mountainous area. And the time limit's going to be off. And I am not going out here with a tank. I am just not going to drive this far with a fucking tank. I can tell in the future I'm going to be driving tanks a lot more. Because they're just so awesome. Alright, there's a little use of the black market there. Okay, I'm on my way. Uh, I want something quicker. Something much quicker than what I'm getting here. So, actually, they usually deliver these pretty quick. It should be here by now. Or not. Where's that heli at? There it is. And those big fuckers bring in almost anything. Special Tanks, whatever. Those helicopters can carry them. Which is pretty amazing. Must be pretty hard to carry around. I'm surprised they get here even this fast. And... No, no, asshole. Get over here. Yes, yes, yes. The horns on this game are kind of annoying sometimes. I don't want to run him over. I just want to back up enough to where he can get in here quicker. We are disguised as South Koreans. Or will be soon. Okay, there we go. So, going down here. Wow, it sounds like the car is going to flip eventually or something. It sounds like it's not going too good under the wheels right here. Oh, probably little invisible rocks I'm hitting that's waiting to flip me over like eight different ways. Okay, you're clear. Now get the survivors back to the HQ. Okay. Are you sure we're clear, Fiona? I mean, well, yeah. We're disguised as South Koreans, so the Incheon base South Koreans won't shoot at us. Oh, uh, speaking of South Koreans shooting at us. God, I, I'm just not waiting for fighting against South Korea at all. To get the deck of 52, we're going to have to fight against South Korea at some point in this game. But I really, really don't want to do that. Because these, these are probably the most dangerous people. And it's not because they're strong or anything. Their soldiers can take an ungodly amount of shots to kill. Besides with chicks later in this game. It, it's their weapons. They have really good weapons. Their tanks are good, although you haven't seen them yet. They are good. It's like this uh, armored personnel carrier, APC or whatever, with has a, a minigun explosive rounds, which is a pretty awesome fucking tank. It's probably my favorite. I think it's like an APC 200 or something. I don't. I'm not so sure with the numbers and everything. And driving back down this familiar path. Well. After we get the diamonds right here, we're not going to be seeing this map anymore. So, like I said, I won't be cutting out any of the driving. Maybe speed it up every now and then, but I haven't got any complaints about it. So, I'm guessing that's good. All I have to do is think of random shit to say whenever I'm driving down these long roads. Actually, I kind of like the fog. 
It's like the fog of war in computer games where you can't see past the enemies after your troops aren't there for a while. So it just kind of reminds you of the fog of war. Pretty sweet. Come on, you can make it out, you last fucker. Oh, that should be mission complete. Yes, I want payment. I want all my money. Yes, black guy with a beanie. He even gets a bonus. Because a black guy with a beanie can always do something. Oh, we have more info, and they're just giving us info and more of the deck. Which, like I said, I'm going to go discover their locations. Uh, not off, uh, off screen, yeah. So whenever I do go do this, I think we have a helicopter now, so we're going to have fast transportation. I'll spend ungodly amounts of money to get shit done quick because I don't have patience. And I'm not speed running through this game at all. I'm literally taking my time in my way because I have no patience. Oh, Jesus Christ, I have no patience. That's why I love coffee, which I I think for the first time through this whole LP, I don't have a cup next to me for this part. Which feels very awkward because I'm used to taking a sip every now and then whenever the allied Afro man dude is talking or the leaders of the factions are talking. You know what would be great? Just thought of this. If ravenous squirrels were in all of these trees and they had like this special STD or something. I heard that squades thing but that sounds retarded so I won't say it. Personal opinion there. But if they had ravenous squirrels in the trees that would just manhunt people and slaughter them. That would be great. And maybe get like a few pieces of candy or something and line them up to where it would lead to bases and see how many people the squirrels can kill. I don't know, just random thoughts. Driving a squirrel doesn't sound that bad. Driving down this yet another familiar road. All this is nostalgic to me. Haven't played this for over five years and I'm just suddenly playing it again. I haven't... When you saw me make that part for the Let's Play, that was the first time I played this game in a long time so all this is pretty nostalgic I know all this by heart but y'all who haven't played this probably don't that's why I don't want to cut out any of the driving and we're gonna return this vehicle to the Russians again because it's just a thing I like to do it just gives me a little extra money every time I come here make it worth my while whatever I'm driving like the Zhajus or Zhujus well Let's head into the bread and vodka HQ right here, because that's the only things Russians live on. I mean, they're mostly poor and live in the snow and probably all have frostbite, so it doesn't matter if they live or die, right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. I do completely understand you. Uh, I think he's talking about the Godfather, and he's talking about how uh, Agent Buford or something is being like a big game boss. He's like, it reminds me of that movie, The Godfather, and then uh, Yosef right there is like, yes, it's The Godfather. we can get something done, eh? And no one will know it was us, except you and me, right, mercenary? The South Koreans are talking about getting tough on crime. I want their attention elsewhere. I have word that they're assaulting an NK garrison. I want them to lose. Badly. Great. Thank you. That's what I want to do right now. I don't know who this Boofer guy is, but he better learn it's in his best interest to deal with me. I know Sergei said by whatever means necessary, but I know you are more intelligent. And will yes, expose us to I know expose you to unnecessary risk, or however you like to say that. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well, no, I don't think he was talking about the Godfather in that one, but he's gonna eventually, while we're doing the Russians. Y'all could probably hear people yelling in the background. They're out to make money, just like me. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Around here, no. I need a vehicle. Shit. I shouldn't have got, like, bleh, uh, turned in that South Korean vehicle. Okay, a Jeep. I'll just have to live with the Jeep. We're going to fight South Korea. I don't want to fight South Korea, but it has to happen eventually, I guess. But that's all the time I got for this. So thank you all for watching and for waiting for this part, if you're going to be watching. And goodbye.